Hi, I'm Neil Salwainen, and I'm going to show you today how to make Finnish pancakes uh, that I learned from, from my Finnish grandmother and, and, uh, and refined through years of practice. Now, before you make your pancakes, when, when, when your pancakes are in there, you're going to want to sit down and eat, right? So you want to have your, your bacon or your whatever accoutrements you have, you want them done and cook. You want to set your table, you want to put your syrup on the table. I get your butter out so that when when the pancakes are hot, uh, you're ready to go. We get your coffee made, right? So we've uh, <clears throat> assembled the ingredients here, and I'm going to show you now. It's it's a it's it's a recipe, but it's also a sense. You have to have a sense of the end result of what the batter is going to be like. Um, it's like the consistency of a, of a heavy cream. Uh, it's not. It's not uh, like a like a pancake batter that's uh, sort of has a firmness to it, but it's not wet like a glass of milk. And getting that balance is uh, what I'm going to be showing first. Now, before I get to that, also we're heating the pan because it takes a while to get your pancake finished pancake pan to the temperature where it's just right for cooking. So I've got that preheating a bit while I mix the um, the pancake batter. Today I'm going to do a two egg batch. Um, a two egg batch is nice for, for two people or for one, you know, hungry person or a teenager, for example, right? Um, so, get, get that going with two eggs. Now, I grew up on an egg farm, so I, I know my way around an egg. These, these are okay. Not, not the firmest yolks I've ever seen, or firmest whites, but it looks like they're going to do fine. They're in good shape. Second, we're going to need a, a cup of milk, okay? Now here's, here's my cup of milk. Now, I like to put a little extra milk in. I'll, I'll tell you why, because it helps you get closer to being able to get six panfuls out instead of that sort of five and a half panfuls that you don't know what to do with. Okay, uh, eggs, milk. Uh, then I'm gonna put in some salt. Like, for two egg fulls, like about that much for, two, for a two egg batch. And sugar's tricky. Um, there's two schools of thought. One is put some sugar in there, a tablespoon per egg, and have sweet pancakes. Uh, my, my preference that my father taught me was don't use so much sugar. This way, when you put the maple syrup on, that's the source of the sweet flavor from your breakfast. And I think it's a little more fun that way. So I'm going to put like yeah, about, about this much sugar, okay? Parade. Once, twice. Okay. And now the flour. The flour is where we get a bit of an art thing. Okay, so you know, again, we use a partial tablespoon of sugar per egg, as you saw. Now we're gonna do the flour. And so the it took about two tablespoons per egg, okay? So I'm gonna put in one, two, Three. Now, I'm going to stop at three and give it a whisk and see the consistency because sometimes you don't need that fourth or all of that fourth tablespoon to make a two egg batch. Get those yolks broken. Now we use a whisk and not an electric mixer. Uh, and they, they tell me the science of it is that egg whites consist of proteins that are kind of wrapped up and the whisking process unwraps the protein and the cooked protein forms the, the matrix that holds the pan together. So if you ran an electric mixer, you would be busting up those protein strands and you would get a little, little harder challenge for you when you go to cook them. That this with three, it's, it's just a teeny, it's a teeny bit Watier than I want. So I'm going to go with a half a tablespoon more of flour and see where that takes me. You, you can cook at that, at that thinner, but boy, they're really hard to flip and hard to manage on the pan. So that's why we're trying to get just the right consistency to, um, to manage well in the pan. And I'm liking that. I think that's a good looking weight for finished pancake batter, okay? All right, so 
Got our pancake batter, now we're going to start the cooking phase. I mentioned I've been heating the pan. Take a look at the pan. This is a little bit of smoke coming off of it now. It's not, I don't, it's not an angry pan, as I call it, where you have a real active smoke, but just a little bit of smoke coming off of it, which means it's, it's just about the right temperature for a first batch. Um, here's a technique I use to put the butter on there. That was the most efficient way I've found to get that done. And now we're ready. I'm going to take the bowl. Give it a quick stir to show that the flour is suspended. I use a big spoon. I want really good control of the amount of batter that I put in each one. Okay, if this pan wasn't quite hot enough, the, I'm not quite getting the angry, you know, the the, um, the active pancake sizzle when I'm dropping the batter into the depressions. So we'll have to see what to do about that. Okay, so we can see that the, the, the center pancake is cooking, is behaving real nicely. The outer ones, the pan wasn't quite hot enough around the perimeter, um, so these are going to be a little pale looking when we're done. Very good, tasty, but just they're going to have a different uh, color uh, and uh, at the end of the day. So I'm going to show you. This is my technique for taking for flipping the pancakes. You, you take a thin blade like this. You come around a little bit so you kind of get it loose and flip it over. Oh, that's a nice looking pancake there. Okay, let's let's flip some of these other ones. I can recognize they're not, they're not going to be dark the same way that uh, the center one is. Notice I'm flipping these the, so that the cooler part on the outside gets flipped into the warmer part of the pan near the center. You might fumble with this. It's, it takes it, it takes practice. It's, you know, it's all on the wrist, right? And it takes a little practice before you really get a, uh, a, a good at flipping pancakes like that. Um, but it'll work out fine. I'm going to put the heat up a little bit more here on that. Now let's check the center pancake. As you can see it's beautiful color on both sides. Good to go. Now, a trick my grandmother would do if she had one that was kind of pale, after she pulled out the center one, she'd flip it over and sort of fry it on the, on the top side to give it a little bit, just give it a little bit of color. So, of course, pancakes that are light color on top, they're never going to get light colored all over, so you, you don't want to leave them there until they dry out. Just say, okay, let's do a little bit of a light color batch. Uh, and we're good to go. Now, little, uh, little cook's trick I do. I'll take a really nice looking pancake, and you guessed it, put it on the top. So there's our first pan. Let's make another one. The pan now, a little smokier, a little, little closer to that ideal temperature. So let's proceed. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you watch me cook all six batches here. Just uh, uh, want to finish up the, the, uh, the cooking demo with, with one more batch. And you don't you don't want to fill these these uh, these these depressions in the in the pan. You want to get them. Just watch out for us. Uh, camera close up here to show you. This is just just enough to kind of cover. To cover it and a little bit of volume, um, but you definitely don't want to even have these things, you know, more than half full. Also, you want to get pretty consistent, so you've got consistent timing from pancake to pancake within a pan. Okay, so uh, we've got that last partial batch off, and we're just wrapping up here um, now. You're going to let your pan cool off. Now, it's like any cast iron skillet. You know, it makes its own Teflon over the years from use, uh, from, uh, from the oils being heated. 
Um, so this pan never touches water, never touches soap. Uh, you wipe it out with a paper towel and put it away until next time. Uh, you want to want to treat that uh, pan uh, the way that cast iron is meant to be handled. All right, so we have our we have our pancake batch at five. Uh, we have some uh, volunteer uh, eaters here with us today. Um, so let's let's have a pancake. Sue, where are you? You're right a volunteer. Here. Come on, Sue. How cool is this? Uh, John and Sue Hoekstein, my uh, aunt, uncle, here to join us. Um, so let's let's grab a stack. See, these are served in snacks. All right, so here's, here, here's how we like to eat them. Uh, put a little butter maybe between pancake two and three, and pancake five and six. Uh, you may prefer other patterns. Um, a little syrup. But now, here, here's, here's what I want to get across is, we, we don't cut these. You, what you do is you, you grab a corner, you flip it, flip it again, and that captures the, the butter and the syrup and everything nicely. So, hope this has been helpful. It's been, been great sharing all this with you. Uh, but I've got some pancakes to eat. Till next time.